So hi, my name is Tinko Rasker. Um, Startup Bootcamp have asked me to, uh, to share my top 10 tips for startups seeking investment. Uh, my background is investment. I used to do venture capital investment. And uh, a few years now, I've been advising and helping startups to, to raise funds, or at least trying to. So the first tip um, is sort of about this little book I've got here. The first tip, and I'll read it to you, is, is do what you say and speak plain language. And a startup, when you're communicating with investors, it's very important that you speak the truth and you speak it in clear language from the beginning. And I know one investor who's got a notebook just like this, and everything that any startup tells him, he writes down uh, and he remembers it. And what I mean by remembering it is that he keeps his notes on file forever. Right? So he's got about probably a 30 year career and in his office he's got a cupboard full of notes going back about 30 years. And every startup that ever told him anything, he knows what they said at the time. Yeah? The reason is that that investor says pretty simply, if you promised me you had a customer three months ago and you said, I have that customer signed, and then three months later, you change your story. He, don't, he wants to know, he wants to remember. And for him, that's one of the most important pieces of evidence as to whether that company is investable. So when you talk about customers, if you say they've signed, they've got to have signed. If you say they're almost about, uh, almost going to sign, then say they're almost going to sign, or we think it's an opportunity. Make sure you speak plain language and you're completely clear. And that, that way you can build the trust with the investors. Okay, so here's my second uh, of the top 10 tips. Um, you don't always need other people's money and you don't necessarily have to get investment from an angel or a VC. Um, if you can make money doing your business or something very similar to your business, that's almost always better. So if you're making a product, trying to get a pre-sale and get some money out of that, that's a very, very good way to make money. Or if you're in business A and you can do something that's very similar to business A to get cash right away, and that's often a very good idea. If you start generating your own cash that you've made through your own work and your own products, that cash feels better and tastes better than other people's money. So here's my tip three. When you go into a deal, most likely um, you're emotional about it because it's your company and you really want it to succeed. And what's more, it, well, you're running your company and you're not doing deals all the time. And that means that you, the investor you're, you're talking to most likely has the advantage. Uh, he's just got more match experience because he's doing deals all the time. It's a very good idea to get a mentor or a sparring partner into your transaction situation who's doing deals all the time. That person is a little bit further away from the deal, can judge things a little bit more soberly, and most of all, they've got constant deal experience, right? so they know the tricks, they know the dynamics, and they might know the investors very well. And that person can really help you in a deal situation. Okay, so here's my fourth top tip. Um, you can use for your funding uh, basically two main instruments. Uh, one is straight equity, where you sell your shares. Of course, there are many different types of shares. And the other is convertibles, where you promise to sell shares to someone in the future, uh, and you promise to sell it to them at a discounted price with respect to the price in the future. Uh, now, both those instruments are perfectly common in startup land, and both have their time and place. Uh, as you fund your startup over different rounds, you'll be using both instruments. It's just for you to judge uh, what mix you want to do. Uh, convertibles tend to close much faster, so they're easier to do. Uh, equities takes longer to close, but for larger rounds, it's probably worth doing because a convertible, in the end, is a temporary solution. Um, as you structure your rounds successively, again, I think it's worthwhile speaking to a mentor and of course you have to negotiate. Uh, the investors might have a preference for equity and convertibles. And it's also worth building a quick spreadsheet uh, just to see what mix of instruments, uh, what effect it would have on your cap table and your future financial situation in different scenarios. Um, but there isn't a magic solution. You'll probably be using all of the instruments at some point in time. So here's my fifth top tip. For each funding round that you do, keep in mind the next funding round in the sense that if you do something in this funding round which gets you out of a situation at the moment, but then you've created a deal structure which is gonna block you in the next funding round, then you've basically moved the problem to the future and perhaps you've moved a bigger problem to the future. So in each funding round that you do, 
keep in mind what happens in the next funding round. What are the future investors going to think of the transaction that you put together today? Um, but don't think only about the future. Uh, a famous economist uh, once said that there is such a thing as thinking too far ahead into the future. Um, you can't think of only about the next round because you have to make the current round work. So the top, tip, the top tip is with each funding round, think about the next funding round, but only a little. So here's my sixth top tip for uh, people seeking investment. And that's if you've done a deal with an investor, don't be a stranger to that investor. Make sure you build and maintain the relationship. Um, that relationship becomes an asset in its own right. And as the company grows and evolves, having a, a relationship that's deeper than just having done this one transaction and having a financial dependence is actually quite important and quite critical. And you'll need to work on it. And here's my seventh top tip. Um, it's your ship. After you've brought investors in, you still need to be running the company. They might have all sorts of opinions about what you should or shouldn't do. You have to make sure you keep running the company. The easiest way to ruin a company is if different people start pulling the steering wheel in different directions. So try and make sure that it's your ship, that you're still in charge, and the investors, they've contributed, and they're important stakeholders, but they're not on the steering wheel. So here's my eighth top tip as we work towards the top top tip. Uh, and the eighth top tip is that when you do your funding round, Try and keep in mind all the stakeholders in your company. It has to be a value add for everybody. So that includes your team, your co-founders, and past investors. Um, if something is pinching somewhere really badly, uh, that's just not the best deal that you can do. Uh, try and make sure you do a 360 degree analysis of your stakeholders and make sure the deal is good for everybody, or try to. Then here's my ninth top tip. When you're negotiating with an investor, it's really best if you're in a situation where it's an opportunity for them too, right? Uh, you have to try and be horizontal in that regard. They really want to invest, you really, really want them to invest. Um, because that's when you get the best negotiating results. When everybody's keen to get the deal done because it's a great opportunity for everybody. And then here's my top tip, the very top tip itself. Um, and it's actually a fairly short one. And that's with money. It's very important to remember the deal isn't done until the money is in your bank. If the money isn't in your bank, then the deal can still fall apart, no matter what anybody said or what anybody signed. So try and make sure that you keep short and direct lines towards actually transacting your deal, because that way you can avoid disappointments.